time for another episode. This time I'm talking about a bedding that I am now using for colubrids that I really like. Check it out. This episode I'm joined by one of my little Loma Alta bear drats. Always try to do a little close by these guys, but it gets tough. So a bedding I've been using with these guys that I've actually come to like and prefer over Aspen is this stuff. It's called Critter Care. It's like a, it says it's all natural paper pet bedding, soft, fresh, dry, clean. I got this brick, which is 14 liters usable volume. I got this brick from Bilo, which is actually a grocery store here in the Southeast. Oh, we're running, I'm struggling. You can get this stuff at Walmart. Uh, like I said, I got it at Bilo, which is a grocery store here in the Southeast. I don't know if people have them in any other, way, any other places. But just like Aspen, one brick of this stuff actually fills a lot of cages. I really like it because it's super absorbent. It's not dusty, which is the big thing. I like Aspen as a bedding, especially for colubrids, but it's so dusty and there's usually a lot of really sharp kind of fine particles that like to get stuck in all the labial scales and stuff. This stuff, I like a lot more because it doesn't have any of that going on. It's not dusty at all. And I like to use it with colubrids because they like to they like to burrow, they like to dig. It doesn't matter if it's the hog noses, the corn snakes, bairds. They like to be able to dig around in it and kind of hide under it, gives them a little bit more security. And as messy as colubrids are, which if any of us have ever kept these things, you know that all they do is crap and spill their water and just destroy whatever you put them in. This stuff is really absorbent, so if they do spill their water bowl, I don't worry about it too much because most of it just gets sucked right up into this stuff almost instantly, it seems. And then if it gets completely wet, I just take out the whole thing and replace it. But this stuff is great. It's biodegradable, which is nice. So I can just throw it out in the backyard or something and it, it disappears in no time. I actually took some and put it in my isopod culture and it broke down really fast. So it's very biodegradable. And actually I've also been using it in, I made a little homemade ABG mix for these two tanks behind me. Um, one you can see right over my shoulder here. I threw a little bit in that ABG mix because I think it'll help uh, with the, the bio biodegradability and sort of the bioactive sort of thing. Which is also nice because if I have some, woo, if I have some that isn't good anymore that I throw out, I can just save it, mix it in some ABG that I'll use for other tanks. I got this brick for, I want to say it was like $8. So it's a little more expensive than Aspen. But like I said, you don't deal with the dust. You don't deal with any of that. And it's pretty easy to find. I'm almost positive you could find it at, uh, at Dollar General or something like that. Uh, definitely at PetSmart, I'm sure, even though I can only imagine they charge way more than what you should be paying for it, unfortunately. And you'll have to forgive me, I'm nasally. I've been sick the last two days. So if you have colubrids and you want an alternative to Aspen, definitely check this out. It's called Critter Care. This is the first time I've seen this packaging. The other one I had was like blue under the same name. I would use it for carpet pythons, anteresia, colubrids, like I've said. There's a lot of species I would probably really enjoy that. Hog noses especially love it because they can dig around in it. I will say the only downside to it is it doesn't smell very good, but if you can get past that, it works great. So definitely check it out. This is gonna be kind of a short video. I just wanted to talk about it real quick. It's good stuff. I'm gonna keep using it. Let me know what you think. If you used it, what is your experience? Tell me in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments as usual. Why are you so jumpy? I don't understand. Like bears are usually super mellow, but the babies are spazzy as hell. It took me like five minutes just to get this one to chill out a little bit. Uh, these Loma Alta bears came from Daniel Parker or Sunshine Sherp. Sunshine, Sunshine Serpents. Oh my God. So definitely check him out. He's got all kinds of cool stuff. He just hatched out some really nice corns. Uh, he does nothing but colubrids as far as I know. He's a A plus guy. I wouldn't hesitate to buy from him again. I got these the weekend at Carpet Fest. Met up with them in, uh, in Tampa while we were down there visiting Dilly Hunt at Uwabami Reptiles. Also someone you should check out. And these things, this one especially is already coloring up really nicely. You can't really see it on the camera, but the, the orange skin between the scales is really starting to pop. So I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. I love these things. I can't get enough bears. I've got six of them now. They're so, they're so underrated. I did a whole video on them a while back. Check it out. Anyways, just wanted to talk about this bedding real quick. I'll show you how I'm using it. So my setups for these guys are pretty simple. Just a, a little bit of this, which actually I've come to find a little bit kind of goes a long way. This is more than I, I want to put in there because the, the 
bears especially will like bunch it up and then it'll spill over into the water bowl and so i'm having to change it out every week or uh every not every week but every couple days because they're constantly just spilling crap in there but little uh little plastic hide and uh i mean this is how all my colubrids are set up the corns and the bairds anyways check it out let me know what you think see y'all later